Yo, chat, anyone here want to give me some gold, my boys? Anyone here want to donate to the Sea Dew Fund? Yeah, can we get some more community events going on here, guys? I think we just really need to, uh... I really think we need to start focusing on the community here, guys. Like, right now, you guys, you know, we're not focused on the community, and I think we really... We just gotta get back to that community focus, you know? That you sacrifice your account for 100k gold? You know, I would be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Only because you could start over and it, it would just be a lot of fun for you. Beat picks, I'll give 10k. Alright. Deal. Embarrassing high school story? What's an embarrassing high school high school story for me? Nah, Bean's mom never picked me up from from school. We didn't want the whole world to know what was going on, you know? Alright, so I had a couple I had a couple times in school. Okay, so one of my times, freshman year, my clothes were really dirty. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, like, really dirty. But my dad was, like, really weird. And he was like, I'm not doing the laundry tonight. Like, it's not laundry night. So, like, I literally... And, like, half my clothes were uh, at my mom's house and the other half were at my dad's house. And I was at my dad's house. The only pair of clothes I could wear to school were the pair that I had on. Like, it was, like, the only pair of jeans I had. Like, you know, basically, I didn't have an option. So I literally had to go to school the next day with dirty ass clothes. Like I'm telling you, like grass stains, like it, like they were. It looked like I literally was rolling around in dirt because I was. I was. I think I was literally playing football at my friend's house. And someone came up to me and was like, "Do you wash your clothes?" And I was like, "No, like I actually don't. Yeah, I wanted to, but you know, I actually didn't wash my clothes at the time." And then there was another day I went to school. And I forgot to put on deodorant, and I smelled really bad, so I was, like, super self-conscious. Like, I was- I wouldn't lift up my armpits. And I remember the person next to me in my, uh, chem class was like, it smells like shit in here! And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Some days you forget to put on deodorant, right? Like, it just happens. I, I don't know. Nothing I can do about it. Are you a smelly kid? I was that day, but generally speaking, no. I don't- I don't think- I don't think I was generally. Were you that kid? No, I didn't. I didn't smell in high school. I just forgot deodorant that one specific day. Dude, we were actually telling this story the other day. I don't know why, but... So, I don't know if you guys gym class, like, they would kind of just, like, put you into groups and stuff and make you do shit. Like, you know, you didn't really have a choice. But that's that's what our gym class was, right? And I remember our gym class, um, they put us into groups and we had to do, like, relay races, okay? So, it was, like, groups of four. And somehow, me and my two friends got paired in the same group. And my one friend's like, I'm not fucking running today. And we're like, we're like, dude, what do you mean? We're doing a relay race, you have to run. He's like, I'm gonna walk. He's like, I'm not running. And they hand him the baton, bro, and he literally just walks the whole way and walks the whole way back. And we're dying fucking laughing. He gets back, the gym teacher says, get out of my gym. Just fucking send him right to the office, bro. I don't know why, he was, he was just such an asshole. But it was so funny because he was our asshole. You know? Literally, all the funny stories I have in high school are literally about this kid just being a fucking idiot. It was Warren, basically. There was a time he literally smashed a juice box on someone's table, and literally juice went everywhere. He literally put a juice box on a table, got a book, and smashed it. And juice went everywhere. I'm, like, the whole fucking table. And the kids were literally screaming, and he, after he does it, he puts his hood up and tries to walk out, and the teacher snipes him. He's like, you! Get over here! Our school didn't have, uh, detentions or suspensions. They had something called three to seven. So basically, basically in order to piss your parents off, they wouldn't suspend you. They would sit, you wouldn't go to school during your normal day. You would come between the hours of three to seven. So your parents would have to take off work and, and get transportation for you and whatnot. So it, like it would, it was trying to really inconvenience your parents, right? To basically say like, listen, your kid fucked up we want you to you know basically understand right like so there was a point in our uh in our lunch where basically worm started a food fight and our whole lunch table got like a week's worth of three to sevens because uh no one would say who it was and then we got in more trouble in the three to sevens because we're we're eating lunch and like one of my friends was sitting here waving a pickle and he asked the teacher if she wanted his pickle so then she tried filing, like, sexual harassment charges on him. And then while we're in three to sevens, my fucking friend ordered pizza to the window. Because there was a pizza place across the street. So literally a fucking delivery driver comes knocking on the window of the three to seven. And tries to deliver a pizza through the fucking window. It's like, dude, what is wrong with you guys, man? I was a good kid with bad friends, chat. Honestly. I was. I was a good kid with bad friends, man. 100%. Worm is the kid who went to a party in high school, and he went into the person's shed, 
got a fucking uh, a leaf blower, went inside and started leaf blowing everything off the fucking walls and the shelves and shit. There he was fucking knocking picture frames off the walls. <laughs> An absolute menace. All right, this is this is a true story, okay? This is a true story, okay? We used to sneak out and we would go to a convenience store called Wawa. I don't know why, but the cool thing to do for us was sneak out and walk to Wawa. Like that was just what, that's just what me and my friend group did. Like it was literally like, um, it was tradition. Like and anytime we ever stayed over at someone's house, we would sneak out in the middle of the night and walk to Wawa. And it's actually funny because we got we got caught one of the times um, because it would be really late. Like, you know, we were probably like 14, 15, 16, you know, 17, whatever. And we'd be going out two, three o'clock in the morning. We would go out of my friend's basement window, Worm's basement window, basically. And it was like it was ground level. And on the way in, it, we would be going through uh, his mom's garden. And I, we just started hearing her freak out. Why is there so much dirt in the house? Like, why is there mulch in my house? Like... We were kicking all the mulch in when we would climb back in through the window. So eventually they kind of found out. But literally one night, Worm calls me. It's a school night. And he's like, yo, bro, you want to sneak out, go to Wawa? And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, we live really close to each other. And we go to Wawa. He's just looking. He's just looking at the shelf. I'm like, dude, what are you looking at? And he's, and he's literally, he's just staring. Okay? He's like, you see that? I'm like, no, what, what, are, you, what are you looking at? And, he, and, he sh and he, there's a pair of gloves. Okay? There's a pair of gloves. And I'm like, okay. He's like, what do they say? I'm like, I don't, they're fucking gloves, man. What do you want from me? It says all purpose gloves. I'm like, okay. What, like, what about them? It's like, I'm going to buy these gloves. And I'm going to shit in my hand. And throw it on this person's window. <laughs> I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Where do you come up with this shit, man? So he literally fucking buys these gloves, bro, and goes to this person's house that he doesn't like, and he shits in his fucking hand, and he throws it on the fucking window. Oh, man, we walked to school the next day, bro, and this fucking turd stuck on this fucking person's window, man. It's the most ridiculous fucking thing. Holy fuck, man. It was probably the funniest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, man. That worm is doing good. Yeah, he's doing good, bro. It's funny because Worm has uh, two kids and, and his son, his oldest son, he's so, like, he's so, like, I don't want to say he's bad because he's a kid, you know what I mean? But, like, you could tell, like, he's a little rebel, basically, you know what I mean? Why is his nickname Worm? I don't know. I think his brother started calling him Worm. We all call him Worm. Dude, me and my friends used to do a lot of, uh, mischief. Like, I don't know why, but it was just, like, our thing. I remember one time, uh, we literally went to a football field. My one friend is just like fucking around with this big ass gate, just moving it around. And he somehow manages to like lift this gate off the hinges. And it's like, it's probably like an eight foot wide swinging gate. And me and my like two other friends are walking down the street with this massive fucking gate. And we literally pry it up against someone's fucking glass door. So you're not o able to open the glass door. Ima like imagine trying to wake up and go to work the next morning. And you have this huge fucking gate blocking your door. Like, I, I don't know why we did this shit, but we're just fucking idiots. We thought it was so funny. There was one time my friend actually, he used to drive around and just hit people's trash cans with his fucking car. And he got followed home by a cop once.